Orlando to face UCF? Uh, it was a great victory for the for the Bulls. Our guys came out. Um, thought we saw a football team that was highly motivated to go out and, and get a win, and a team that wanted to try to play his best ball game. And I feel like our guys did that uh, this past um, week playing. <clears throat> this past week playing Cincinnati went out, and everybody uh, did their part in helping win that game. And it was great to get it on senior night at home, and. Uh, very impressed, impressed by the way the guys went out and, and competed and, and got the victory. And um, we got a rivalry against uh, Central Florida this this week. Um, we go to them, and we know they've been struggling, but we got to continue to keep our focus on USF and trying to get USF better. And uh, we're looking forward to that game, and I'm sure our guys will be highly motivated for it as well. Big questions for Coach Taggart, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. We'll take our first question from Shannon Green. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing excellent. How are you, Shannon? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Coach, um, Tiger, I'm wondering, um, with UCS struggling the way that they have, does it take away from the rivalry experience of that game um, when both teams aren't at their best? Uh, an interesting question. I don't think it took away from it uh, the last two years when we're on the other side of that. So um, I think it still will be there no matter what. And with your team playing at such a high level right now, um, do you even need to bring up um, what happened last year at, at, um, at your stadium, or do you feel like the players want to see that get even more amped up? Because I'm pretty sure they're already be amped up on their own. Well, yeah, it'll be amped up, and a lot of those guys played on that team last year, so they know what it was. Um, I don't have to talk about it. You know, for us, it's just continuing to focus on the things that we've been focusing on all all year long, and that's getting USF better. You know, that's been our, our mindset. That's been our approach every week, and it's not going to stop this week just because we're playing at UCF. And finally, what are the things that you're most proud about with this team? Um, probably their resiliency, you know, just the way we started off and uh, just being able to overcome adversity, you know, something we, we hadn't been able to do the first two years. And, and this year we've had a lot of it on the field and off the field, but our guys been able to stick together and, and um, care about each other. I've been really impressed on how they, they come and grew to love each other and play for each other and we were reaping the benefits from it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. We'll take our next question from Kyle Kinsing with Aslan Support. Coach, with uh, UCF being in the position that it is right now and, and you having taken over some similar situations at Western Kentucky and, and now USF mm -hmm. and turned that around, mm -hmm. what does a program do from your experience to be able to get things going in that right direction uh, and as quickly as you're able to do at the last two places? Um, I think you got to recruit. You gotta have a plan. You gotta have a vision. First, you gotta have a vision. You gotta have a plan. Um, you gotta work your butt off, and then you gotta have the patience to see it through. You know, and I think that's what we're we're seeing out of our our guys now. Is coach has done a great job of recruiting, and um, we've been working our tails off at it to get better. But more importantly, we've had the patience to see it through, and and now we're reaping the benefit from it. So I would say that you gotta get some good players, and and. That's what's happening for us now, and it's great because all of our skilled players are sophomores, so they'll be around for a while. And how are you able to sell that vision to guys when, when things are maybe lean early on uh, to get them to buy in and build up? Well, you just got to stick to what you believe in. You know, from from day one, we haven't waived from anything that we we set out to do. And by doing that, our guys understand. And, and they able to help the younger guys out. When we first got here, nobody understood, so it's hard for them to to help anybody else out, so it's going to take a little longer, you know. And but as the years go on, and we recruit guys in here, then the older guys understand what it takes, and they hold guys accountable. The younger guys, and it becomes a culture, a way of doing things. And and we have a culture here now, a winning culture that guys just understand. You know, me personally, I don't get emotionally hijacked anymore because guys know what to do. 
And for fans and, and us in the media, uh, you know, obviously progress comes down to wins and losses, but are there metrics mm-hmm. that you're able to set within the program that maybe people on the outside aren't aware of to, to show where you are progressing when you start building up? Well, I know for us personally, I mean, it starts on, off the field. I always feel like that's one reason why a program is struggling is that guys aren't doing things away from football well. You know, it's hard for them to do it well on the football field, whether socially or, or academically, you know, so taking care of that first and foremost. And then <clears throat> on the football field, I think you measure each year differently. You know, our first year we we lost a lot of games that we were so-called supposedly win, you know, and then the the next year we won those games, you know, and, and we were in some of the games that we weren't supposed to win. And this year we win in games that we're not supposed to, you know, and to me that's a sign of progression. And Thank that's you. what we've been able to we've been able, been able to do. No problem. We'll take our next question from Kyle Narducci with the Philadelphia Inquirer. Hey, Coach. Um, if mm-hmm. if you do um, uh, beat uh, UCF, will you guys be watching the Temple Connecticut game? And and how much interest would you have in that? Um, I think we'll have plenty of interest in it. You know. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of our guys will be watching that game. I mean, it'll mean a lot. You know, it's only if we take care of our business on Thursday night then we sit back and uh, and watch what Temple and UConn do. You know, that's an important game. And with us understanding if they don't take care of the business, if we do, then we're in the game. So I'm sure a lot of, a lot of us will be watching that game. Thank you, Coach. Mm-hmm. Coach, we thank you for your time, uh, not only today, but also during the course of the season. We look forward to hearing from you again.